All right, so today we're gonna to be going over how to install a cat on the top of the dog sculpture. It's basically a three-part process. One is put the cat on and align the feet. Two, drill the holes. Three, insert the rivet nuts. All right, so let's go here. The cat goes up, and what you wanna do is slide it back and forth until everything meets flat. You might have to tweak it. Now one of the key notes here, and then you want to center it back and forth. One of the key notes are the front feet base are wider than the back feet base. So make sure they're leveled, not only in the front or centered, but centered in the back. So there's a little more room here than there is here. Once you get it on there, take a Sharpie and just mark your holes. Boop, boop. You can make good noises when you do that. Boop. 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 All right. That's kind of all there is to it, to align it and marking it out. Set it on, slide it back and forth until it sits nice and snug in there, and then level it front to back. All right. When it comes to drilling the holes, I like to start it with a small pilot hole and just get it right in the center of your marks. Uh, using a smaller drill bit to start it out will help it from walking around and it will kind of sure that you got it in there good. And you go through and do all six holes for that. And then you bump up to a larger size drill bit. I might do two different or step it up. Um, and then we're gonna insert the rivet nut. I'll show you how to do that at the end. Uh, this is just the next size up. We're gonna do three different holes. You can do two if you wanted, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so this is one of many different rivet nut tools. If you don't have one that looks like this, um, you can search your brand on YouTube and chances are there'll be a video on that, on how to use it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This one automatically kind of inserts the rivet for you. You can see I'm just kind of uh, screwing this in and that There'll be a screw in there. The handle should come open. This rivet nut should be fully pressed up against the top. You set it into the hole. And then you're just gonna give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. And you don't need to go crazy. Um, and then you, this one, you just pull that and it releases. I'm gonna show you what it's doing just so you get an idea what's happening inside there. That's why you don't need to squeeze down too much. So this is the rivet knot, the handles are open. The thread is completely into the rivet knot. When you squeeze the handles, you can see that's gonna mushroom down and create a gap in between the metal of the dog underneath there. And then it just gets let out. And so that's what keeps the dog in there. And it mushrooms out quite a bit. So like I said, you don't need to over cram it. It just needs to balloon up in there and wedge itself so it will hold when you put the nut on. I'm gonna go through and do the other five and then we'll set the cat on.
most likely the tail of the dog. There'll be a little orange envelope with the nuts and hardware in here. Once you um, get this, these are just gonna screw right in. Um, and hopefully everything will line up. Uh, make sure they stay loose until you have all the nuts in place so you're not um, binding it up. So just put it in so it's nice and loose. That way you can slide it back and forward. If for some reason you um, don't have it so they all lined up, you can always drill out the hole on the cat a little bigger to make it fit. So don't get overly hung up. Try to make it so everything fits, but if you're off by a little bit, you can always just drill out the hole in the cat and make it a little bigger. And, uh, that should take care of it. Put all six bolts in, we'll have a wrench in the bag, and uh, you can just tighten it down. That's the easiest thing to do. Thanks so much.